Hi, I'm Andrew Paul, the chair of the engineering physics department here at the University of Wisconsin Platteville. I'm standing in one of our introductory physics classrooms today to talk to you about the physics of softball. So softball, like all sports uh, with balls, is primarily a gravity-driven exercise. So when you're throwing the ball or hitting the ball, it's gravity uh, that determines the trajectory of the ball to the largest extent. But another effect that cannot be ignored in most sports is air resistance. So air resistance does play a, a somewhat significant role. And in fact, when you look at what makes a good softball player or a baseball player or a tennis player, um, it's actually that ability to manipulate the effects of air resistance. So one of the things that a good player does is they learn how to use air resistance to their advantage. Fast pitch softball is a great example. It's not enough to be a good pitcher to just throw hard. Uh, a good pitcher needs to be able to create effects using air resistance like curveballs, screwballs, drop pitches, uh, or even rise balls. And they do this by manipulating the effects of air resistance by putting spin on the ball. So today I want to talk to you about the physics of how that happens. One of the important things to understand is that when an object like a softball is moving through the air, the air will not necessarily move at the same speed past each side of the ball as it travels. Um, this is an effect that you're familiar with if you've ever stuck your hand out the window of a car on the highway. So one way to see the effect of the different speeds of air uh, is to take something very light. Uh, a ping pong ball works great for this. Here I have a ping pong ball on a string and a, a simple hairdryer, right? Something that will cause the air to move rapidly. And one of the things that I can do is I can position the hairdryer on one side of the ball or the other. And what I'll do is I'll create a fast moving stream of air here. And what I want you to see as I do this demo in just a second is I want you to see that as I begin uh, blowing the fast air, the wiffle ball will tend to be pushed toward that fast stream of air by the slow air over here. So again, slow air tends to push harder than the fast moving air. So we have the fast moving air rising up here, the slow air will push the ball in. Uh, and once the ball is inside that stream of air, contrary to what you would expect, the air will not just blow it back away, uh, but it will actually trap it in that fast moving stream because any way it tries to leave, the slow moving air will push it back into the fast stream. So you can kind of trap this ball. So I'm going to try to do that demo. So how do we speed up or slow down the air? If the ball is spinning, what will happen is the side of the ball that's spinning away from you toward me will tend to speed the air that's flowing over that side of the ball. And at the same time, of course, the other side of the ball has to be spinning the opposite direction. The side that's spinning toward you and away from me will tend to be pushing against the air that's coming this way, and that will slow the air down. So if I have a ball that's spinning the way I'm spinning it now with the top spinning back toward me, the bottom spinning toward you, the batter, that will create fast air over the top, slow air under the bottom, and that will ca cause the ball to rise. This is called a rise ball. So if you want to pitch a rise ball, you need it spinning what you might call backwards, uh, the top coming back toward me, the bottom coming toward you. Uh, conversely, if you allow the ball to roll off your hand as you pitch so that the top is spinning toward the batter and the bottom is spinning toward the pitcher, that will create a drop ball. Uh, the air will be slowed over the top because of the spin coming toward the batter. It will speed under the bottom because of the, the spin coming toward me, the pitcher, and it will tend to drop more rapidly than just a thrown ball. 